Hi, this is Dr. Ryan Kazemi. In this video, I'm going to present a unique technique for removal of failed dental implants uh, with no surgical incision or flap. This non-invasive approach greatly improves the healing as well as it lessens uh, patient recovery and also post-operative pain. So here's a patient who had a dental implant placed in a very poor position and it was uh, misaligned. The position had already caused some uh, recession of the gum tissue and uh, significant inflammation. Uh, the two-dimensional dental x-ray here uh, shows the implant slightly off its correct alignment, but the 3D uh, cone beam CT scan uh, clearly shows that the implant was placed significantly uh, tilted uh, outward, resulting with insufficient bone uh, coverage. So even though the implant was integrated and well healed, its position uh, would have resulted in a compromised restoration with a very poor aesthetic and probable development of inflammatory conditions at a later time. And this is basically due to uh, lack of adequate bone coverage um, on the outer aspect of the implant. So the treatment plan was to remove the uh, implant, allow the gum tissue to heal uh, and mature and close itself uh, within a two and a half, three month period, and then reassess it for bone augmentation and replacement with a new den dental implant in a proper position. So for this technique, I will first remove the temporary cap from the implant. Next, I'll place an appropriate size uh, screw in the implant and tighten it to a specific torque or force. And then. I place another component on the pin and rotate it until it reaches the implant and tightens in place. Next, we'll use a wrench and rotate it um, as it applies a appropriate uh, reverse torque forces to the implant. The mechanical bond between the implant and the bone is eventually disrupted and the implant is rotated out of the side. We'll clean the side gently and irrigate it and finally apply some platelet-rich growth factor, which is obtained from the patient's blood, and this enhances the tissue healing and the maturation. After a two or three month healing period, we'll assess the site for grafting needs and replacement with a new dental implant in proper position.